Michael Gargiulo was leading a double life. Four women attacked, three of them killed over a 15-year span, and prosecutors in Los Angeles say it's this man, 43-year-old Michael Gargiulo, who committed the crimes. His hobby was plotting the perfect opportunity to attack women with a knife in and around their homes. Gargiulo's trial began Thursday with prosecutors recounting each crime. First was 18-year-old Trisha Picaccio found stabbed to death outside her Chicago area home in 1993. Then in 2001, police found Ashley Ellerin's body in her Hollywood home. She'd been stabbed 47 times. Ellerin was the girlfriend at the time of actor Ashton Kutcher. He told police that he went to pick her up the night of the murder, but that no one answered the door. He said that as he was leaving, he looked through a window and saw what he thought was spilled wine. Prosecutors say it turned out to be a trail of blood. Four years later, in 2005, police found the body of Maria Bruno in her El Monte apartment. She'd also been stabbed to death and mutilated. Prosecutors say they found a hospital booty outside her home with Gargiulo's blood on it. Gargiulo's DNA was around the elastic band. Then in 2008, police say a man broke into the El Monte home of Michelle Murphy and began stabbing her as she slept. Murphy managed to kick off the attacker, who then accidentally cut himself with his own knife. It's all his blood and his DNA as he ran away. The 911 call was played for the jury. Michelle, what happened? Where is that person now? Prosecutors say Gargiulo lived within a few hundred feet of each victim. Gargiulo's defense says no murder weapon has been found and there is no evidence linking his client to the Ellerin case. And by the way, there was no eyewitness to the brutal murder of Ashley Ellerin. Gargiulo has pleaded not guilty to two counts of murder and one count of attempted murder for the California crimes. The Chicago crime is being prosecuted in Cook County.